All right, so for today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters International HX520 and 1 to 50 scale. Um, there's two ways you can get this model. You can buy it as just straight a tractor, or you can buy it with the XL Low Boys. Um, that is how I purchased mine. Um, they come in a couple of different colors. You can get it in black, as you can see here. You can get it in red, or you can get it in white. I'm not sure if they plan on releasing any more colors. Uh, but those are the colors you can get it in right now. Um, so starting off the review here, we'll uh, take a look at the uh, the wheels here. You can see that they are they are white instead of chrome, which is kind of odd. Um, and you can see right here, you got some cutouts uh, right there on the rim. You got your bolt heads painted uh, for the um, the rim itself right there, and then you got your hub sealer right there. Uh, and as you can see right here, got some steps for the fuel tank. Uh, you got some painted on decals right here uh, for some running lights. Uh, you got the HX decal right there. You have a chrome handle uh, for the door right there. Uh, you got another painted on decal right there. You got a chrome exhaust or a chrome air cleaner, I should say, right there. Uh, then your mirror, uh, it is chrome, uh, which is nice. And you can see you got a little orange stripe painted right there. Uh, the one downside about these mirrors is they are plastic. Uh, it's pretty flexible plastic too. Uh, so you got to be careful with that not to break it. Uh, you got your exhaust stack right here. It's nice and chrome as well. Uh, and as you can see right there, you got a blue cap on both of these tanks right there, uh, which is nice. Um, and then, like I said, you got the nice steps right there. The diamond plating on them is textured, but it's not cut through. Uh, and then coming to the back of the model, you can see you got the headache rack right here, which I believe might be metal. It's a nice hard plastic. Uh, I'm not too sure, but it is nice and chrome, uh, which is nice. And uh, you can see you got a little diamond plate texture uh, up here as well. Um, it's kind of like a step and then come down to here. And you can see your drivetrain model right there, uh, which is nice. And then you got these nice chrome fenders on the back as well. And they do have mud flaps on the, um, the front, as you can see right there. Um, and then they do have mud flaps on the back as well, right there. Uh, this one um, came like this, it wasn't glued on fully or it came off, um, so the quality control isn't the best. Um, but while we're looking at the back, you can see you got your brake lights, turn signals, and reverse lights right there, all painted on very nicely. Uh, and you got these nice chrome fenders. Um, they are plastic, they're not metal. Uh, so you got to be careful with those as well, not to break them. Uh, and then you can see you got your fifth wheel uh, right there. Uh, it doesn't have a locking mechanism, so when you want to put the low boy on it, you just kind of got to pick it up and slide it in there uh, so it doesn't slide out. Um, and then coming to the back, as you can see right here on your headache rack, uh, you can see that there are some bars, so you can see through the headache rack right there. And then if I can zoom out here for a second, you can see that you got some some more running lights, turn signals and reverse lights, and some... Uh, working lights right there and then you got your amber beacon up there as well coming to this side of the truck it's almost the exact same as the other side as you can see you got your white wheels back here um, fuel tanks right here and the same decals and stuff right there um, so zooming out here it can get some of the functionality of the model itself so you can see the steering does turn but it doesn't turn the greatest uh, that's about as far as you can go to either side um, the hood does open uh, as well, and I believe it is a Cummins engine in there, and everything is modeled very nicely. You can see the radiators right there. You got your hoses and stuff that run the, to your air cleaners, uh, which is nice. And um, then you got the, obviously the red painted engine um, coming to the front of the model. Uh, as you can see, you got a nice grill, a nice chrome bumper, some headlights, turn signals. You got a nice little international decal right there. I don't believe the grill is see-through. It's just a piece of plastic. Um, which is kind of a disappointment. And then you can see that you do have a nice windshield and a tan interior, uh, which is nice. The doors do not open on this model. Um, so that's kind of a downfall. Uh, for the price, it's understandable. Uh, so zooming out here, uh, one thing that you can change are the exhaust tips. See if I can get mine out. So they do pull out, so you can change the exhaust tips. Uh, my passenger side one is bent, uh, but you do get two different types of exhausts. Uh, which is nice so you can have straight pipes or you can have um the uh curved pipe um uh, not really sure what you would call it um but you do have a nice like uh kind of like a 90 degree end pipe right there which is nice uh, and it is kind of it's not really hollowed out it's hollowed out just a little bit and it's painted black to make it look like it's hollowed out 
Um, and the one last thing that you do get with the truck is an oversized load sign. Uh, if you buy it with the low boy set, I'm not sure if the straight tractors just come with it, but you do get an oversized load sign, uh, which is nice. It's yellow. It says oversized load on both sides. As you can see right there. Uh, you can have it on or off. It's up to you. Um, I prefer mine off. Um, and you got to be careful not to lose these pieces. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's right about it for uh, this review of the uh, International HX520. It's not the greatest model out there. Uh, it's nothing like the store WSI model, so you, you got to have that, keep that in mind. Um, there are there are a couple of issues with the model. Uh, one of them is the mud flap on the back, like I said, um, and then my passenger side exhaust it was like drilled or it was punched out, bent, um, so the exhaust sits kind of weird. And then the trucks aren't really level, as you can see. One side's higher than the other, um, but if you're not looking to spend, you know, a hundred and um, like. 10 to 120 dollars all the way up to 150 dollars on a tractor um this is a good alternative um but uh, that's really uh that's really about it for this review so if you have any other questions uh feel free to ask um like i said you can get this you could this is a current model so you can get it in three different colors red white and black um it should retail i believe it's like a with the set, it's a hundred dollars, and I believe the tractors alone are like sixty dollars. Um, so you can find it at most model retailers that have Diecast Masters models. Um, so that's really about it for this review. So thank you for watching. If you'd like to follow my social media, both links are in the description. If you're not already subscribed and you uh, like the content, uh, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Uh, and that's uh, about it for this video. So thank you for watching, and stay tuned for the next video to be uploaded.